well, you're right, Pao. She was very, very quiet. And mm. um, I was quite hesitant to approach her because I, w- I wasn't sure if she would talk to me, seeing as she was so quiet. Kaya nagulat ako, once nag-step siya on court, iba yung personality niya. Intense mm-hmm. niya kapag uh, may game na. And she's just so fierce and um, she's really a competitor while she's playing. But off court, she's completely different. All right, Joe. Ikaw naman. Ano yung first impression mo kay Laura Liman when when yeah. she was uh, the court side for Ateneo? <laughs> Wait lang, parang na attack agad ako ni Lau don. Ah. So, <laughs> so, <laughs> so when I first met her, I think sa training yon. Punta siya mm-hmm. sa training pa. Sabi niya, "Hi guys, I'm Lau. I'm your court side reporter for this season." Tapos <laughs> parang kami, "Oi." Very, ano naman siya, sobrang, ano to, dalagang Pilipina, ganyan. Tapos, hindi, ako, hindi ko alam kung paano rin siya i-approach. Kasi parang, feeling ko paras kaming shy. So, parang, <laughs> how would I, how would I talk to her, ganyan. Pero, sobrang kulit ni Lau. Huh? Oh my gosh. Binabuli niya kami. Kasi, hindi totoo yan. Si Lau, ilaglag mo na, Joe. Ano mo, ano minsan, nakasmile lang siya, tapos sa side, aawayan ka na niya. Kasi, hala. Well, like close yung mga courtside reporters sa players, guys. Grabe, hindi naman. Grabe. Pero may naman si Lau. Well, you know, that just goes to show you just how close CSRs get. Uh, <laughs> now, when you when you go into work and you start uh, getting close to this team, how how was how did they accept you at, at first, or how how would you earn your trust, nila, uh, throughout your time there, CSR? Well, to be honest, Pal, coming in, I was very intimidated, especially with. Oh no! No, wala ba sila? I think, I think yeah. so. I think so. Joe, are you still with us? Naman ulit kay Ala, nag- <laughs> Ay, grabe, Joe. Alam mo, naman ikaw ulit yung dito. dito eh. Alam, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, no worries, no worries. Uh, pero Joe, syempre, with Lau coming in, uh, courtside reporters do play a big role dito sa coverage ng, uh, uh, ng UAAP. Uh, is, was there a moment that you felt na you could trust Lau to tell your story properly? Kasi syempre, sila yung magiging bosses nyo eh. Uh, to some extent. Eh. Um, Lau kasi is, ano, um, malambeng the way mm-hmm. she talks, di ba? So parang, pag ina-ask niya kami, parang, pag, uh, kunwari, pag may game kami, Hi Joe, how are you? Are you ready for today's game? Ganun siya. So parang ikaw, di ba? Parang maano ka rin, Hi Lau, I'm okay naman. <laughs> Uh, sorry, Joe. Ha? Nandito na si Lau. And uh, yeah. just, just so everyone knows, Lau, we've talked about you the entire time you were gone. Oh, right? no. Oh, no. Jex, get us going here. Okay, uh, let's go back to Lau since she's back. Lau, um, how close are you with the team? Like, as a courtside mm-hmm. reporter, like, how involved are you in all the processes of, you know, competing in the UAAP? Very involved. Um, I think especially with what happened to me, my very first year in Ateneo was the first year I became courtside. So I knew no one else in the school other than the volleyball girls and the basketball boys. So they really became my close friends. I mean, my hus- he became my husband even, eventually. Yeah. Um, so you get very close just because you have to earn their trust. I mean, they tell you what's happening on the team. They... They trust you with that information. And in order to give good reports, you have to make sure that you know them well enough to report on them. And it's just an amazing experience because you feel like a member of the team. I mean, even though my dreams of becoming a volleyball player never came true, I Hmm. still kind of felt like I was one just because I got to sit on the sidelines. And it was just an amazing learning experience. And it made me who I am today. Joe, so you're becoming part of the team, Lau? Baka feeling lang. Baka feeling part lang. Eh, hindi talaga. Actually, there was a time na nakikip ball passing siya sa amin. Tapos, yes, that's um, true. Kami, kasi cute siya kasi parang pas sobrang pa-sweet siya. Ganun. Pero marunong But naman. Nakakasabay siya sa inyo. Nakakaya naman niya. At hindi natin kami sila. Cute lang. Okay. Cute lang. 
Um, of course, uh, Lao, this whole, siempre, we have you here also because we're going through that search right now, looking for the next court side, the reporter. And uh, siempre, you know, her joke. Uh, while, while you were gone, she was actually telling us that they, you earned their trust as a court side reporter uh, during your time with them. Diba? Tama naman yan, diba, Joe? She, she did, diba, diba? Okay. Yeah. Right. Uh, now, your course, message, Joe, to future, to future courtside reporters who probably are thinking twice about it or mm-hmm. those who are nervous for your opportunity to talk to all these great athletes. Um, I guess my advice would really just to put your whole heart into it. Um, because you're not only representing yourself as a reporter or um, as a host, you're representing your entire school, which is so important because you're the person that they see on camera, um, they hear your voice, and you, you want to do your best because you're representing your whole community and your whole school. And the, the, the only trade-off to that, it, I mean, is putting extra work into your reports. And you only do that, and you get to sit sidelines on the games and so many doors will will open up to you. And I mean, that's how I met you guys. That's how I met you, Pao. Eventually from courtside, I, I came onto the game. So it's just, yeah, it's a great opportunity. Thanks, Lau. And uh, alam mo, I think that's uh, not not a great a plus. Uh, become a port courtside reporter, meet me. I don't think that's a, that's <laughs> just a great area. But again, all joking aside, Joe, maraming salamat. Thank you for uh, telling us all the embarrassing stories about Lau. Good luck sa PBL. <laughs> And of course, good luck on your new team. Now, uh, I did not write this, but the next line says, uh, you will always be part of the game. <laughs> Maraming salamat. Um, <laughs> thank you, Lau. Thank you, Joe. Uh, right, thank, thank you. Guys. Thank you. All right. Now, do you want to be the next Laura Lehman and be a part of your university sports team? Now is your chance to audition as the next UAAP courtside reporter. If you are 18 to 23 years old, currently enrolled in a UAAP school and fluent in both English and Tagalog, submit your CV and a 90-second headshot video with brief introduction and why you want to be a courtside reporter to the email on your screens on or before February 6, 2022.